What's up, people lovers? Three lessons of the week, and this one is something I'm trying to generalize. If we are playing our normal Arabia game and we think, okay, we have like 90 villagers, we have some military, we are typically trying to advance to Imperial Age, have a defensive castle, try to stabilize. But in this case, you can see, I didn't have the defensive castle. I'm going to imp and had way less army. My opponent in Castle Age basically plays a full all-in, five stable production and massively raids me. And in that game, I learned if there isn't the scenario where we have the castle on the hill, fully walled and dancing with some small armies. Massive castle age plays are actually absolutely worth it and can't really get punished. And you know what's the most beautiful thing is if you learn something, if you apply it and it actually works. So just some days later I had a game where we also played it close and we also had that scenario where basically no player had uh, castle and yeah it's, it's a bit weird lag here but um, yeah then collection fixed there and I went for the big play and played castle age for a bit longer had the pikeman aggression even forward siege workshop some more nights while my opponent was imp and there was a solid difference of like four and a half five minutes there in the imp timing but I just felt with all my army that I was building I got so much aggression pushed my opponent back and from there on continue to have the full map control. Certainly some suboptimal plays here by Draytech on the way to Imperial Age, but I was really happy going into Imperial Age with quite a big advantage. This second thing is more of a mind game thing. Uh, I had big tournament games last week, the one against Modri, and the days before I had some really rough sessions, um, losing to players that I should clearly beat, like people below 2000 rating and uh, I dropped like a, a low that I didn't have for years like 2050 rating and I was really questioning myself and had some uh, unpleasant thoughts luckily I was able to reset myself and then had this crazy set probably one of the best sets um, of my career certainly the best set that I had since I came back against Modri beating him 3-0 winning the arena like map there and I was super happy and all that happened within 72 hours so um, sometimes I just have to trust uh, in my skill and yeah really unfortunate letter performances but luckily I turned it around I'm happy about that the third thing is more of something curious that I found out, uh, more, yeah, more than a lesson really. Obviously, win rates uh, over time, as you can see in random map here, I'm incredibly bad at the early game, often died to drushes, often died to minute arms. I think this will stabilize. What is more surprising to me is that if we click on Empire Wars, my win rate is not really what I would have expected early game pretty solid sometimes happens that I'm playing some weak opponents and early game uh, I just win there that I'm dropping below 50% in the 20 to 30 minute mark I don't know what that means yet but certainly something to investigate I think I'm playing too many 1TC all-ins that's what I'm thinking right now and then I lose some steam and that's most of the time the yeah the moment I think about resigning but I will investigate. Also, with this and analyzing with websites, I think I will go for a new format, basically showing you websites, Age of Empires 2 related, that you probably didn't know and that could improve your game or give you some more insight. But that's that's something for the future. Uh, for now, goodbye, Apple lovers.